What's up guys, it's MB Boxing and today I'm going to be predicting the outcome of Shakur Stevenson versus Robson Concacao and this is going to be a 12 rounder for the unified WBC and WBO Super Featherweight World Championship and this fight is going to be Friday, September 23rd from the Prudential Center in Newark, New Jersey and this fight is going to be broadcasted on ESPN, ESPN Plus or on the ESPN app. And to get both fighters' resumes, Shakura Stevenson fighting out of Newark, New Jersey, um, born there. Um, this is really his homecoming fight. Um, he currently holds a record of 18 wins with no defeats and 9 wins coming by way of knockout. Some people have him ranked top 10 pound for pound, and he is currently ranked number 1 by BoxRec in the Super Featherweight Division. He is the former WBO Featherweight World Champion, and he's now um, formerly the unified WBC and WBO as Super Featherweight World Champion, considering that he did miss weight, losing his titles automatically on the scale. And I'll get into more of that later on. But to list some of his best victories, um, he has a unanimous decision win over Christopher Diaz, a unanimous decision win over Joe Gonzalez, a unanimous decision win over Toka Khan Clary, a unanimous decision victory over Jeremiah Nakatia, a stoppage win over Jamel Herring, and he's coming off the best victory of his career, which was a dominating and wide unanimous decision victory over Oscar Valdez. But to get his opponent's resume, Robson Contegao, fighting out of Brazil, holds a record of 17 wins with one, de with one defeat um, and eight wins coming by way of knockout. So he's 17-1 with eight knockouts. Uh, he's currently ranked number 12 by box rec in the Super Featherweight Division. And he's also a 2016 Olympic gold medalist, which is definitely um, something that adds to his accolades. Um, but to get into his one defeat, it came by unanimous decision over a little bit over a year ago uh, against Oscar Valdez. And that was a fight that many people, myself included, thought that Consacao should have won. Uh, I believe I scored the fight, I think, 116-112 for Consacao. I mean, maybe a bit wider, maybe a bit um, closer. But I definitely, for sure, had the fight for Consacao. But, uh... Yeah, the judges didn't see it that way and gave it to the heavy A side in Oscar Valdez. But again, but again, to some of his best victories, uh, he has a unanimous decision win over Louis Correa, and he's coming off probably the best win of his career thus far, which was a unanimous decision victory over Xavier Martinez. So in my opinion, this fight I think is going to go in favor of the undefeated Shakur Stevenson. I just think that Stevenson is one of those fighters that when I watch him fight, like I don't really think that anyone at his weight could beat him. At 130, I just don't think that anyone has the capability to beat Shakur Stevenson at all. The two the two two of the guys that are the top five, um, Jamel Herring and Oscar Valdez got dominated and barely even won a few rounds. Um I mean, really, I just think that Shakur Stevenson is just levels ahead of everyone in uh, the super featherweight division. But, I mean, this, I mean, the thing is, he just did miss weight at 130, and that's something that you have to talk about. I mean, he weighed in at 131.6, which is extremely unprofessional. I know we talked about, oh, this is my first time, it's never going to happen again. I mean, there's a reason why he got stripped of those titles. It's not supposed to happen at all. You're, you're supposed to train, uh, cut down your weight. And weigh in, obviously, under the limit. He couldn't do that, so the sanctioning bodies rightfully stripped him of his world titles. But, I mean, despite that, I mean, he's coming into this fight, win or lose, doesn't get the belts back at all. And he said he's going to move up to 135 after this fight. Um, so, I mean, it would be very interested to see. I'll be, I'll be very interested to see how he does against the guys like Ryan Garcia, Devin Haney, um, Gervonta Davis. Uh, all these top tier guys at one thirty five, George Cambosis Jr. I mean, maybe Jojo Diaz up in there in the mix. I mean, all those guys are very solid guys at one thirty five. That uh, I would be very interested to see how um, Shakur Stevenson would do against them, and even Ms. Vasil Lomachenko. How could I forget that? I mean, he's one of the best guys as well. So I mean, one thirty five is a stacked weight class. He's really going from um, considering that one thirty is not really one of the like heaviest weight classes. I mean. I'm not saying in terms of weight, I'm saying in terms of competition in the top 10. Um, I mean, it's just really a big difference from 130 and 135 when it comes to the level of competition in that top 10. Uh, because lightweight is just a stacked weight class and has been one of the most stacked weight classes for years. But um, yeah, when it came to the weights, I mean, Shakur Stevenson, obviously, as I mentioned before, missed weight by 1.6 pounds. And Kunsakau weighed in perfectly at a ready 129 
uh, point five. So, um, yeah, I mean, regardless, as I mentioned before, Shakur Stevenson is done at 130 with his world title reign as unified champ. However, Konsakau, if he does win this fight, he could uh, he will come home with the unified world titles. But if he loses, the titles are vacant at uh, 130. So, I mean, really just to break this fight down, round by round, I think that Shakur Stevenson is really the much better fighter than Konsakau. Even though Kotsukao is an Olympic gold medalist, etc., he fights very well on the outside. I just think that Shakur Stevenson, like I was talking about a bit earlier, I didn't really get to finish that point. I mean, Stevenson is just a fighter that when I watch him fight, I, he's just, I mean, he, he has, he's been a bit boring in some fights, but I mean, I just really think that his style, no one could really lay m- much of their hands on him. No one could really land a lot of combinations. No one could really outscore him in more than three rounds. I mean, he's a fighter that fights very well technically, has good defense, rarely gets hit with big shots. Um, I mean, really, I just think he's a very, very good fighter and one of the best technicians in boxing. And I know that many people could agree, could agree or disagree with that, but I think Shakur Stevenson has excellent defense, um, fights very well, has, is a great counterpuncher. I just overall think he's a great fighter. Um, nonetheless, but, I mean, yeah, he did miss weight, as I mentioned before, and that's a big, big issue. But more into, um, this fight round by round, I think that Shakur Stevenson will start fast. Um, I think that Konsakau is going to be very, very cautious in this fight. Both these guys are guys who normally fight on the outside, trying to counter their opponents. Both of them are counter punchers. Um, I believe that Konsakau is a southpaw. Um, Stevenson, I believe, is orthodox, so there's a stance clash there, but, um, nonetheless, I mean, I think that Konsakau will be the one trying to fight on the outside, because I really think he's going to be careful in this fight, trying to pinpoint where he throws his shots, and I think it will be very smart for him to jab on the outside and really trying not to engage in that many combinations, um, with, uh, Stevenson, because I think that Stevenson is overall the faster puncher, <clears throat> and I think that, uh, he'll just work better, as opposed to, um, Konsakau, if Konsakau were to come forward, so I think that Strakor Stevenson is going to be the one trying to lure Konsakau in, but I don't think that Konsakau will be falling for those traps, I think he's going to fight very, very smart, but I don't think it's going to be enough, uh, to sway the rounds in his favor, and I think that Strakor Stevenson will really take a lot of the rounds in this fight. I mean, maybe early on in the first four, Konsakau might be able to get a round that Shakur is figuring him out in. Um, like, in the first four rounds, it could be 39-37 for Stevenson, like, Konsakau getting a round. But I think that Shakur Stevenson will try and counterpunch early on and realize that Konsakau is going to be the one trying to box. So I think that Shakur Stevenson might be coming forward more than usual in this fight, might be landing some good counterpunches using his defense on Konsakau when he comes forward. Uh, but I don't think he's going to be coming forward like a sort of Mexican-style fighter. I, I just think that he's going to be fighting smart and, like, boxing as he comes forward. Like, I've seen a lot of fighters before um, be the ones on the front foot, but they're also boxing. I think that's what Shakur Stevenson's going to try and do. He's going to try and implement a defensive game plan while stepping forward on Konsakau. And Konsakau is going to be doing the same thing, but off the back foot. Um, so, yeah, in the first four rounds, I think it could be 39-37. But then... I mean, as the rounds go on, like in round, from rounds like five to rounds eight, like I said, I, I really don't see Konsakau getting any big rounds in this fight. He might get a round or two or a few rounds like that are sort of off rounds that Shakur Stevenson has where he's taking a little bit of a break. Like we've seen that before with Stevenson. He tends to have a, some off rounds uh, than his opponents get. Obviously, a 10-9 score in that round. So I think that in the middle rounds, Stevenson will be doing the same game plan same with Konsakau, and I think that, let's say after 6, it could be 59-55 for Stevenson. Maybe after 8, could be 78-74, 79-73, somewhere around there. Then in the later rounds, um, I think it will be more of the same. I think this fight will be very similar throughout um, with Stevenson boxing off the front foot, maybe a mid-range, and Konsakau is really going to be fighting smart and cautious on the outside. But in those later rounds, like I said... Um, 
Rob Sikonsakow might be able to edge one round late, like a round that Shakur is having off, and like I said, really throughout this video, uh, that Konsakow is not really going to win any big rounds. He might just edge a, a very, very quiet round. So the overall, I think this fight will go the distance, and um, before I say by what method of victory, I mean, I think it's going to be obvious, but uh, just comment down below if you think it's going to win this fight and how. Um, so yeah, I think this fight will go the distance, and I think that Shakur Stevenson will get a unanimous decision victory. I think it will be very clear. It could be wide as well. I think that the judges will score this about like 118, 110, uh, maybe 117, 111, like somewhere around there. I think that Shakur Stevenson will really get the job done um, with somewhere around those scorecards, like giving three rounds or two rounds to Konsakau. So overall, I believe that Shakur Stevenson will defeat Robson Konsakau by unanimous decision. And I think that the judges will score this bout somewhere around 117, 111, or 118 to 110. And yeah, that's really it. I'm MB Boxing. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys later.